Hi guys, this is a video on Windows software. Uh, previously I've made some videos on comparing software and things like that and installing Linux. Um, and basically I've been using a virtualization technology to show you it uh, inside a window where I had like things like XP and it was all inside a window and you could see it restart and things like that. Now um, I'm sorry that I haven't explained it very well previously because I've had a lot of people ask me what I use, how I did it and how I set it up and things like that. So I decided to make this video to show you how to set it up. Now I used VMware Workstation, now this that costs quite a bit of money. I think you can use VMware Server but um, like I said before I, I found it fairly difficult to set up um, when you can use other workstation style programs and the one that I suggest you download is called VirtualBox. Now this is free to download and it's very 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 easy to use if you want to try this out. Um, so what I'm going to try and do is make a virtual machine with Windows XP in it. Um, I've made a CD image, now if you don't know how to make a CD image basically get a CD, plug it into your drive, download something called uh, ISO recorder and it will make an image and then you can put it on your desktop. I'll provide the link to both virtual um, VirtualBox and ISO recorder um, in um, in the video description. So let me first explain what a virtual machine is. Now if you imagine your computer, you've got a hard disk in it, you've got RAM in it, memory in it, um, loads of different things you've got, CD drives, things like that. Um, what VirtualBox does is take all those things and put them inside an emulator to emulate another computer. So you're emulating a computer inside your computer, but it's taking sections of what you have on your computer and putting it into a virtual machine. So, for example, if I made a virtual machine and it, and it has uh, five, five gigabytes of hard disk space, uh, where does that come from? It takes it from your actual PC and makes a file out of it and then it will use the file, the 5 gigabyte file that is made and put it inside the virtual machine as a disk. And when it comes to things like RAM, which is the memory, um, if you set it to use say 192 megabytes of RAM, it will actually take that, that amount of RAM from your system and put it inside the machine. So um, it's easy to do things because you've got a computer inside a computer and you can test things out. It's very good for testing um, as you've seen me do before. So I've installed VirtualBox, so it's very easy to do. I'll provide the link to this in the description. Um, and all I'm going to do is double click it. Now it's saying one or more of the registered virtual hard disk CD. Oh, this is just a uh, message for me, so I'm just going to ignore that. Basically, I've used this before, and it's reference to a CD that I haven't got anymore. So I'm just going to ignore that. So you see, welcome to VirtualBox. Um, it tells you all about it. Um, straight away, we're going to click New. That says, welcome to the new virtual machine wizard. It tells you all about it. Press Next. Now we just want to give it a name, so I'm making a Windows XP thing, aren't I? So I'm going to say Windows XP. And it says the OS type. Now you'll see from this list here, these are all the things that you can install inside a virtual machine. And then all you have to do is get the various CD images off the web. Um, obviously not on Windows, you need the original disks. But things like Linux you can install. Um, just get the images off the web and then you can try it. Uh, but for the time being, I'm going to be using Windows XP. I'm going to select next and it says how much memory do you want to use for it, so how much RAM, it's going to take it off my uh, my actual computer so I'm going to give it a little bit more, I'm going to give it 507 that will do, I'm um, going to press next and now it says select the hard disk image to be used as the boot hard disk of the virtual machine, so again it's going to make this file and it's going to put it inside the virtual machine, so if you notice when I click it said no hard disk so I need to make a new one, it says create a new virtual disk wizard, so I'm going to make one and I'm going to say dynamically expanding, basically what it can do is, um, as disk space is being used, the file can get bigger um, and then it will take it from your disk space. So it's not allocating uh, 8 gigabytes straight into your virtual machine and taking it off your hard drive. It can gradually get bigger. Um, and basically, it will save you space on your computer. So I'm going to choose that. And the image size, I'm going to give myself, yeah, 10 gigabytes is fine for me. And so we've done. And um, now it says uh, virtual hard disk and it's all done. And that says the summary, Windows XP, 507 megabytes of RAM, and that's my boot hard disk, which is actually located in a file in C, Documents and Settings, Duncan Virtual, Bo the Virtual Box VDI. So that is now done. So it's powered off at the moment. We then want to go into the CD slash DVD ROM, because I now need to reference this. So it looks at this and says, oh, it's a Windows XP image. So I'm going to click this, and you'll notice it's got other things as well. It's got floppy audio, so you can enable your audio and do it to Windows Direct Sound so you can listen to sound inside your virtual machine. 
Uh, network it to your PC, serial ports, USB, if you want to have USB inside the virtual machine, so when you plug it into your PC, it gets recognized. Shared folders, which what I should, um, I've said before, I might not have said it. Um, you can basically make a folder on your desktop and then uh, share the files inside it to the virtual machine. Now, I'm not sure if VirtualBox allows you to drag files in, but um, we could always try it out later. So, CD, DVD ROM, I'm going to mount a CD drive, and I'm going to say, you can either use your own CD drive, um, or you can use an ISO image. And I'm basically going to locate my ISO image. And uh, where are we? We need to select this, don't we? No, we need to. I need to uh, remove this and add my ISO. There we go. Select it, and it's now in and ready to go. So we can now power on the PC. Now I haven't really done this before, I'll be honest. So I'm not sure how to get into the BIOS or anything. Um, one more thing to note is that you can take snapshots of your PC, and um, basically you can. Uh, it can take, it will basically pause your PC and take a big image of it and then you can reference back to it. Um, if you make any changes on your system and if you've made a sh snapshot previously, you can um, revert back to it and then all your changes will have gone because it will go back to the original state. So I'm now going to start this up and you can see it says Windows XP running um, and I didn't get there in time. Oh, here we go, it's on there anyway. Uh, you click the mouse inside the virtual machine, press the hotkey, this will cause the virtual machine to capture the host mouse pointer, so when you click in, it will capture your mouse. And uh, you can press the host key at any time to uncapture the keyboard, which at the moment is right control. So I'm just going to, uh, I'm going to cancel this for the second. So um, as you can see, we've got the Windows XP virtual machine running, and it's about to start up the Windows setup. So uh, as soon as it asks me to input something, I'm going to click, like now, and I'm going to say don't share this message again and capture and so I'm now inside the virtual machine, I'm going to press enter F8 to accept the agreement and install it in the partition space now I'm going to press right control and you can see I now have my mouse back so this is now going to format and install Windows XP and I will show you um, what it's like when it comes back so I will be back once Windows XP has installed on the PC so I'll be back in a sec Hi guys, we're back and it has set up uh, Windows and we have sound as well, so I'm just going to, uh, sorry about this, <laughs> uh, not right now, try and keep the screen recorder with me, uh, sorry again guys, next, D, next, finish, here we go and this is Windows XP running inside. VirtualBox. Now there is something that's called seamless mode that I've, I've noticed. Uh, when you go to machine you can have full screen mode or seamless mode. Um, now I believe what seamless mode does is take the windows from like inside Linux or something and um, allow you to then run them just on your Windows desktop separately. So that's quite cool. Um, I'm not sure if they have anything like... Um, uh, screen recorder goes a bit funny. <laughs> I haven't tried this before. Um, you can have it so uh, you can uh, drag files in. I'm going to try it now. No, I don't think you can. Um, with VMware, you have to install VMware tools. Now, I'm not sure. Ah, install guest editions. That's the one. And this is basically the same as VMware tools. So I'll accept. Install. And it's now installing the extra stuff. eventually. It's installing the drivers. Okay, it's taking longer than expected. I'm going to pause the video and resume it once. Oh wait, no. Continue. This looks to be VMware tools. That's cool. We're going to reboot it. I'll come back once it's rebooted. Okay guys, we're back and it's come up with a message saying it supports mouse pointer integration. So if I click OK, I can now it do, I don't need to worry about the screen recorder, I can now click and move my mouse away because usually you have to press right control to use your mouse outside but I can just click as if it was in here and if we go to seamless mode, uh, if I cancel this and open up my computer and uh, put it into seamless mode uh, virtual machine will now go switch into seamless mode switch and you can see I now have a, an extra start menu bar on my thing here and I have the uh, window from the virtual machine, so that's very very handy and I suppose it can do this in Ubuntu as well so you can have it running like that, so 
Uh, you just saw me install Windows XP. Uh, thanks for watching my video. Please comment, rate, subscribe if you like my videos, and thanks again.